All right, guys, let's watch this and talk about it after. I'm so sorry about how I reacted the other day. You just seemed so... Strange. I get it. It's okay. You know, I, I still don't know how I managed to persuade myself that a total stranger like you was the right person to talk to. I won't um, pretend like I know what you're going through. I won't. Oh, what it's like to walk in your shoes. I don't. But I just want to be there for you. I mean, want to be here for you. Linda, I have been going through a tough time. And all I have needed you to do is to be there for me. Be understanding. Bates. Bates. Brilliant. You will not go on a date with me. Why? I just lost the most important person in my life. The person who's been there for me all my life. My mother. You don't just expect me to browse back to being normal just like that. And you're talking about what? Arguments about women and sex. Is that your problem? Enough of the lies, Brumi. What are you talking about? I was obsessive. And that was because I didn't want to lose you. I did everything to make you stay. But you, you were all gone. You were found gone. You knew that it was over a long time ago. You. You just couldn't let me go because no. you're afraid to lose me. No, no, no. Yes. No. Yes. I, I stayed. All right, guys. So this second one is all about empathy. There are so many one-sided relationships that go on these days that sometimes it's hard to tell who is doing it on purpose and who just doesn't know how to be in a relationship. In this movie, this guy was there for her all the way through, through her traumas, through her situations. However, when he lost his mother, it was so hard for her to reciprocate. Sometimes there's this illusion that a man should be a man and he should be able to handle his issues like a man. But the truth is that we're all humans. We all have that emotional side. We all have that pain. We all have that issues that are bigger than us. So if you're in a relationship with somebody, empathy is important. Now for those that don't know, when I say empathy, I'm just meaning that you should be able to put yourself in your partner's shoes and feel the pain that they feel. In this case, the girl was unable to show this particular love back. She was unable to support. Now she keeps saying it, but her actions were not saying what her mouth was saying. When somebody needs you, it's more than just calling every few now and then. It's more than that. It's being there. It's supporting. It's coming up with suggestions. But you can't just be on your way doing your own thing, you know, and, you know, letting them be and then saying that you are there. No, you were not. No, you were not. Yeah, you may have been around, but that's not the same as being there for your partner. So the lesson here, guys, ladies, gentlemen, is empathy. You know, if you're in a relationship, you have to recognize that it's a two-way street. Don't always sit back as a woman and think that everything should come to you. When the guy also has problems, that is your responsibility to also step up. Step up in any way that you can. And it has to be tangible ways. Don't just ask them about it the first day and then, you know, remember it again on day three. No. Do more. Stay with them on this. Find out how or what they need to make things better. If it's something that's fixable, help them think of ways to fix it. That's about it for this one, guys. You know, empathy, empathy is the word I hope we learn to do better. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe. Even if you don't like this one, I beg, subscribe too, because one day I'm going to address that matter that's important to you. My name is CJ from McNary Studios, and I'm here to deliver sense.